So I went ahead and put two gallons of water into my sprayer and then I just put a splash of Humic 12 in there, mainly so you guys can see a little bit better here in the video. There I am at the two gallon mark. Now I'm gonna go ahead and load up and go out and spray. So you're gonna see I start here with a trim pass just to get the edges done, keep things off on my sidewalks. I go ahead and frame out the entire area here. Now I'm ready to start filling in the field. And if you're wondering about the overlap here as you make each pass, there really isn't much of an overlap. You just really wanna go tip to tip or kiss the tip of the previous pass, which is a lot more enjoyable than nut to butt, but I digress. The real thing I want you to see here is the walk speed. You can see that I'm not running, but I'm also not you know, laboring to slow down. It's just a comfortable walk pace. One other tip is you can use polarized sunglasses to help you see where you've sprayed. Always good to be able to tell the wet spots from the dry and polarized sunglasses will help you with that. Now when I get to about the halfway mark, I'm not quite halfway done here. I just wanna check, see where I'm at. Now you're gonna see that I'm not level here, but I'm just over one gallon and that's where I should be because I'm almost halfway done and I have just over a gallon left. So that tells me that I'm good to go. Now over time, what's gonna happen is you'll be able to feel the weight of the mix coming off your back as you spray and you'll know what that weight feels like as you move on. It's like a muscle memory kind of thing to where you can tell when you're about to empty out and then you can look at where you're at in your field and know if, you, if you've if you done a good job or not. And of course, you can see I got mine almost all the way pumped out and that's because I've been using the sprayer for a long time and I also know my life. Now in the next video, we're gonna put all this into practice and what you're gonna find is that 1,000 square foot standard. It translates even better once you're actually mixing up chemicals and spraying. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. Leave me any questions that you have in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you in the lawn.